What's up, fools? Welcome back. So it's been a really busy three or four weeks for me now. Uh, as you can see on screen here, I did manage to hack the rest of the 3DS consoles in my house. So now myself, my wife, and my children all have their own 3DS XL running custom firmware. You can see here the different various starting uh, firmware versions. So you can see that uh, I had one console that was on version 10.6 and the rest were all on version 11. So in order to hack the version 11 3DSs, I had to do the DSiWare system transfer hack, which you can only do once per week. And it's really stressful because the instructions to do that hack change from week to week because Nintendo is actively combating it. So... Um, you know, they're patching the exploit, and then after the exploits are patched, uh, new exploits are discovered. So, long story, I got them all done. In the last few weeks, I've had a lot of people ask me where to get games from. So, today, I'm going to share a tip with you for how to get games to put on your custom firmware 3DS consoles. So, here's the secret. Uh, you go ahead and get in your car and drive to Walmart or Best Buy or wherever, and then you select the 3DS cartridge that you want, and then you go ahead and buy that cartridge. So that's how you get games. So here we are. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick. This is this Fire Emblem Fates special edition console that I found on Black Friday. I thought that this was supposed to have a early 10.6 firmware version. Uh, bought it, got it home, opened it up, turned out, nope, it actually had 11.0. So this is like a Malaysian version, not a, not a regular U.S. version. So, okay, here's that special edition console. So I'm going to go ahead and take this uh, console out of the tray there. And then we're going to get this game that we want to dump. So we want to dump the game so that we can share this game amongst all of our 3DSs here at the house. Uh, and so they appear like they're a digital version of the game. And, and uh, we can have our own saves and we can all play the game at the same time and things like that instead of having to share the one cartridge. So we put the game in there. Uh, you see there I'm playing Pokemon Sun, so we're going to exit out of that. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, shut the console down, and then we're going to hold the Start button when we are booting to open up the Hourglass 9 program. And then what we're going to end up wanting to do here is we're going to want to go ahead and dump this game so we're going to go down to Game Cart Dumper and select that option. And then we're going to go down to Dump Cart to CIA. Okay, we're going to select that option. And then this is going to take a long time. I mean, something like 30, 40 minutes or something like that, depending on the speed of your SD card. But uh, this is going to run for a while, and it will dump all the data off that game cartridge. And then once the cartridge has been dumped it's going to do another process to finalize the cia and and when that's all done it will tell you to press the start button again to reboot now we have a cia file that we can install on our custom firmware 3ds consoles using the fbi homebrew application so we're going to reboot the console here and then when we're back in the console we're going to go ahead and go into our homebrew folder And we're going to go ahead and run the FBI program. Okay, then once we're in the program, uh, we're going to want to navigate into the Files 9 directory, which is where the Hourglass 9 puts all the rips that it makes. So we go on down to Files 9, and then within there we should see the CIA files that we ripped in the previous steps. So we're going to pick the CIA file that we want to, want to go ahead and install and then select that with the A button and choose the option here to install it from CIA. Now this process also uh, is going to take a long, long time depending on the speed of your SD card. So you're going to go click yes to do the install. I'm not going to do the install because I'm actually playing through the sister version of this game, Fire Emblem Fates Conquest right now and I don't really want to install this one as well. However, I have sunk something like 60 hours into this game already, so I want to go ahead and get the save file off. So we want we've we've 
ripped file. We've installed the game, so it shows up in our main menu. Now we want to get the save off the cartridge and import it in. So we're going to go into the JK Save Manager, and we're going to pick the game that we want. We're going to do Manage the Save, New Save, and then here we're going to give the save a name. I always use today's date as the name so that it's easy to remember. And then once you've selected a name here, you just click OK, and it'll back up your save data. So now the save data is there on the root of your SD card in a folder called JKSV. Uh, we could actually go back in the JK Save Manager if we installed the game through the CIA that we dumped and do Import Save, and it will automatically detect it. Click OK, and it'll import the save. Now it's been imported. So that's really all there is to that. Um, just want to give you a tip for how you rip your games and bring in your saves. So uh, next time, I think I'll start covering some of the homebrew applications that I use to make your life a lot easier. So I hope you found this video useful, and we'll talk to you guys later.